Good day, everyone. You're welcome to IFAST Tech Hosting. Today, we are going to be talking about how to stream live using an encoder that is totally free of charge, unlike the other ones like Sam Bookaster, Virtual DJ, that you have to pay for the software. This particular one is free of charge and it's called Boots. B U T T and it's available for both iOS and for Windows and Mac and for Linux operating system. At first, let us assess our control panel. So right now, there are two ways to stream live. If you click on these quick links, the first one I stated here is when the auto DJ is running and you want to broadcast live to all auto DJ controlled man points. This means that you wouldn't need to stop the radio station first before starting your stream you just stream live and the auto dj automatically stops then your live streaming comes up then when you are done streaming auto dj automatically fades in again and continue its own program so but the second method is when the auto dj is not running or you want to broadcast live to a non auto dj mount point so let's treat this first method. You will need to start by downloading Boots. You can just search for it. The name of the software is Boots. B U T T. Search for it on Google and Google will bring you here. Then you click on the exact one you want. Then you see download. Windows setup, Mac OS setup, even the source code is here. So after downloading, you install. After in now you download the software. After downloading the software, you now this is the software boot. This is the your left and your right channel, audio channels. Then um, there's the settings. These are the kindly note that when streaming live, uh, you have to come to this your audio settings in this booth. Come to the audio. This is the main settings, and you have your audio. This audio is where you select your audio device. This is very important. You have to select the exact audio device for your sound card that you are using to do your recording in your laptop. So the default one will be selected here. So, but in case it's not the exact one that you want to use that is there, you can come and change it. Then we have channel which is stereo or mono, depends on what you want. Then we have sample rates and we have bit rates. The bit rate, the lower the bit rate, the faster your stream, and the easier for the people to that wants to hear you out with low network to get your stream clearly. But the voice quality will not be that much. So the higher the bit rate, the higher your quality of stream. But it also depends on the bit rate from your from the package that you paid for in iPhone Tech Radio Hosting. So 
you select the bit rates based on the package that you are in then this one is recording this software can record also so the recording aspect is this you select bit rate for recording and the codec is mp3 also mind you the streaming codec is mp3 so to record you just to click on this red button so while you are streaming you are recording also right so the next thing to do is you go to your control panel center back cards first you have to create a dj account for this for you to be able to stream live when your dj is running so you go to dj click create dj account you put a username any name Then you highlight all this. The, all these ones have already been highlighted. So don't touch here. Then you save. So the next thing right now is to restart my server. After which, we come to boot. The settings of boot. Then click add the server page. Then the name, let's say. When. Okay, let's just call it running on the DJ. Then it's a shortcut server. Then you go to quick links. You copy your host name, server host name. You copy it. And paste it here, the address. This server whose name might be a URL note that is not always an IP address. So, port number. Then the password you set in the DG account that you created. The password is going to be a combination of two things your username and your password so let's go to the dj account then we click edit accounts to see the username is marvel and the password is so these are the two what you will do right now make it this way Marvel colon the password yes so this is what you put input as the password so username colon the password of the DJ account is going to be the boot password so click on add 
So right now, we are good to go. So if we click on this now, we are streaming live already. I'm streaming live. So if I go to the app to listen to that radio station, I'm assessing the app right now. So let's listen to it now. It's playing now. Okay, so you can hear it now. If I go to the app to listen to that radio station. So if I stop this if I stop this uh, streaming now. You are going to notice it will fade out and the song will come in. I'll stop the streaming now. Let's listen to it now. Explain now. Okay. So, the opposition has stopped. Uh, sorry, this stream line has stopped. So, the opposition has stopped. Has started by itself. I've stopped it. The opposition has started by itself. So, that was all for that first one. The second option is is this you go to quick links the same thing you copy your host name you come to boot you click on add a new server let's call it more stop auto dg Put in the IP address, put in the port number, it is 24. Then now the password here is going to be your source password. And you can get that from settings. So let's get the source password. Come to boots. Then we paste it here. Okay. Then we click on add. So we can select the exact one that we want. We can select this must stop. DJ, then you can come in here. If you notice very well, if we click this play button, it will not connect because we haven't stopped the auto DJ. It will be state connecting, 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 connecting to it's going to bring an error so what we should do is this we'll click on stop this stop here to stop the auto dg so after stopping the auto dg you just come here and click on play so it's streaming live now Streaming live now. We can hear it out.
So, So let's go down to the So you can hear my voice. Let me stop the stream now. I'll stop the stream. So because of latency, it has a little lag and little delay. Right? Next thing you can think of is uh,